Hello Gemini, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess here to do your read for the week of the 30th of September through to the 6th of October. Yes, we're nearly in October, not long till Christmas now. I guess a lot of you have been doing all your Christmas shops up till now. I haven't started yet, I'm terrible with Christmas, I'm last minute every year. Every year I promise myself I'm going to be prepared. Every year I let it down. Okay. Firstly, thank you for those who've subscribed to my channel. I really am quite humbled and very grateful that it's had such a good response. I love doing reading, so it's absolutely my pleasure. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, if my readings don't resonate with you, I'm more than happy for you to move on. Oh, that's interesting. The moon just flipped out there. So, um, And um, don't forget, before you go, though, to check out other aspects of your natal chart, such as your moon, your rising or ascendant, and also your Venus, because sometimes they can give you really good insight. Sometimes they resonate with me more than what my sun sign does. And if you don't know how to do that, you can go on to Cafe Astrology and put in your time of date of birth and where you were born and you can get a birth chart up and have a look at those aspects. Um, they really do make a lot of sense when you go and read wh where things were at the time of your birth. It's quite interesting. Um, using the Hanson Roberts deck today, any details you need about me are below in the box. I think that's it. I don't want to bore you to death. Let's get cracking. Okay. Oh, very nice, Gemini. Ace of Swords out here. So this talks about having a new start, but it's a very, it's a start where you, you have absolute clarity now about where you're going and what you want. It's about really understanding what it is you want in your life, what direction you're going in, so much clarity here. So I don't know what came before this Ace of Swords, but it's definitely this feeling this week where you're going to go, I know what it is and I know where I'm going now. The other thing the Ace of Swords can talk about is cutting things out. So it could be that you're moving forward because you've cut out of your life what no longer serves you. Very much this feeling of this clarity, moving forward without all the baggage. I can just see this real forging ahead and I love the word forging because it is what they do with swords when they're making them so very much forging ahead here I love it okay first card out is the king of cups now we've seen him a couple of times today he's the representation of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Can be a male or female, but this person is very, very much in charge of themselves. They understand emotion. They're not emotionally cold or unstable, which is really good. They are definitely in charge of that. It could be a father figure, husband, someone in your life who, um, you know, is a male and is, uh, you know, this type of representation. Um, but definitely someone you're dealing with, I feel, this week. Okay, then we have the Five of Swords. So you may have had a bit, a few words with this person. Interestingly enough, you had the Ace of Swords at the beginning. So maybe for some of you, you've had words with this person and cut them out of your life. It could be that the words were not something you wanted to hear and you've had to walk away. You've got clarity on someone, somebody some insight into who they really are after this battle with them, this fight with them. And I feel like whether it's you or them, somebody feels like they've been the victor in this and maybe again an empty win. But you're definitely walking away from something that you fought or argued with or you've cut them out because you realise they have no place in your life. I feel like quite passionate saying that too. So somebody has been very very determined to cut this out of their life and then you have the devil card coming up here now even though the king of cups is showing up here it could be a capricorn it could be you know that you've had dealings with a capricorn but what this makes me feel like is perhaps this person had bad habits they could have been quite narcissistic there could be an issue or problem here with 
um, codependency. So we'll put that one out there first. This could be someone who's addicted to something and you've said no, if you're going to still play with those substances, you're out of my life. Um, it could be someone that was, you know, it could be a sexual relationship you were having with someone rather than a loved one. And it could be that you've cut them out because you actually want love and the sex was great while it was happening, but it's not right anymore. But you're cutting this person out for some reason to do with this devil. Maybe we'll get a bit more information. Okay, now the Empress comes up. So maybe you've had to kick them out. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you were really in love with this person, but you've realised it couldn't move forward because it was just too complex. Maybe you fought a lot with them. But I feel this is you wanting something more than what you're currently getting. So you've cut something out of your life that doesn't serve you because you know you deserve more. This is definitely the feeling with the Empress. Now, as I said, it could be that you're pregnant or maybe this person didn't want to have children. Maybe they didn't, they didn't want to commit to you and that's why you've had to cut them out. I feel like for a lot of you that is the thing. You've cut someone out because the relationship was lusty but it wasn't offering you something solid. It wasn't offering you what you wanted or needed. Okay, because then we've got the hermit. So very much a case of having to go back inside and decide what it is you want. Maybe you've been dating the wrong person. Maybe this isn't the first relationship you've had with a narcissist. Maybe it isn't the first relationship you've had where you're finding someone's a player and you're not able to get them to, to commit to a relationship. Oh, I feel like this is quite a lot of you I'm speaking to here. Because you need to shine a light on what it is that you're doing to attract this kind of person. Because you're not attracting the right person into your life. So taking some time out to review. Yeah, because you need to transform. Okay, now this is making a whole lot of sense. So I think for a lot of you, you're leaving a relationship behind that was toxic very toxic and I feel that you've either become pregnant to this person or you've just realized your value in this and you've walked away from it. I don't think it was easy. I think this person may have had some really bad habits. Again, we have to remember that these readings can go backwards and forwards. So I could be reading for a crosswalk watcher here. I just want you to be aware of that. Um, because I feel this was a very toxic relationship, whoever the shoes fit here. Because now what's happening is you're forcing yourself to go into some sort of transformation, to look inside, to see what it is, why you keep ending up with these relationships. Because there's definitely this feeling here. Some change is going on on a very deep level. Because this is what you want, guys. You want a stable commitment. You don't want these relationships anymore. You feel like you've learned everything you need to learn and it's like this could be your karmic relationship before you meet the right person here. Because that very much has this feeling like you've now learned your lessons. This is why you're coming up as this empress. Whether you're male or female, you've learned your lessons now. You need to move on to the right person. It's like, you know, um, I was talking about on my Facebook page this morning about years ago having a reading and the guy reading um, said to me that you'll go through lots of you'll go through lots of fields of toadstools before you meet the right mushroom <laughs> and I always thought that was really beautiful but I feel like this is the energy here it's almost like you've done this so many times when all you want is this and now you are going back to have a look at how can I find out what it is yeah because there's secrets here now there's also quite a few major arcanas here so there's a huge transformation we have one two three four five six out of uh, eight cards major arcana so this what this is going to take for you Gemini is it's going to take for you to go inside in this hermit card and look at what is it about you that you have learned about being able to be with the right person 
Now I feel like the right person is coming towards you here now because you've decided this is what you want and it looks like you're going to go through this. What I'm thinking here is there may be something buried deep inside of you, some insecurity, something from your past. You may have had, you know, a childhood that was abusive. You may have had, you know, issues and problems in the past and you've got some deep-seated fears or worries or feelings that you're not worthy. Whatever this is for you, you need to now go and work on what it is so you can bring that to the surface. So we talk about this as working on your shadow side, working on your... You know, maybe this devil energy is your codependent energy. But whatever it is for you, this is about now going deep inside to find out what it is. So you're going to be either seeking counsel from, um, this is healing, by the way, after that, and another major arcana. Big week for you here, Gemini. This can be sometimes seeking out a counsellor, um, you know, a, a psychic, somebody who can help you. Look deeper inside yourself to find out what it is that you need to be working on here before you go into the next relationship. There's definitely cycles happening here. Definitely. Whatever it is for you, there's a healing now. So you've been through your transformation. This is about hope and understanding that what you want will come to you, but you've just got to put in the work yourself. So whatever healing you need to do here... Um, it could be about, you know, the crying and the, you know, physical healing, you know, having the tears. But this will take much deeper work in the moon. You have to really go inside in the hermit and have a look about what it is that's, you know, not helping you move forward to somebody who loves and cares about you the same way that you care about them. Okay, and then we have the sun. What a beautiful reading. So the Geminis out there who are doing this really tough journey here, you know, I can't I can't say to you enough that you know there's a great realization here that you now need to do a life review. There's a lot of I don't feel there's a lot of hurt and pain letting this relationship go. I think it's more about the hurt and pain about understanding yet now what you deserve and being able to create that relationship or manifest that relationship and that life you want. Wow. My heart goes out to you, Gemini, for all those people who are having issues and problems with this. But you're nearly there. You're nearly there. I love that you've got these cards right up front. So you've got the sunshine and the star. Because that says to me you are now heading in the right direction. You can put your past behind you and move on to better things. You've got something stable coming in here. And look, the card here is the card of Paramahansa Yogananda. And it talks about choosing peace. And I feel like this is the peace that you need to have deep inside of you. That you don't have this worry, stress and concern that you've had in the past. That you become this person. Because I think you're nearly there, Gemini. Thank you.